are you able to focus on the present stride? Or, you do, or do we get distracted, perhaps by the error, the blow-up that we just had a few strides earlier, the missed canter lead? Mm. Oof. <laughs> um, and when competing, do you find yourself thinking about going into the arena, the results you want, the colour of the rosette, the score you want, or are you actually thinking about how you're going to ride your best? Now, quite often, I don't want to keep coming back to Sarah, bless her, we'll give her, um, she'll, she'll go out of here thinking she needs more help than, than, than <laughs> necessary. But quite often, perfectionist people, goal oriented people, this is really tough for them to think simply about riding the best they can ride. That's counterintuitive. Because isn't it all about the result? Isn't it all about proving I did better than last time? Isn't it all about that score? That's the mindset. And one of the, the struggles I have with sports psychology as a topic is we tend to teach people mental toughness. And I think with horses, isn't it about mental sort of connection and softness sometimes rather than toughness? Because the tougher you are with yourself and the more self-critical you can be, particularly if you're very goal-orientated, the tenser the horse often is. And the more anticipatory the horse is, which is not a problem if he's very obedient. There's nothing wrong with anticipation from a horse as long as he's obedient. All right, just make a quick note for yourself. There's no right or wrong answer here. In terms of everything we've just talked about for the first 10 or 15 minutes, what thoughts do you have right now about your challenge when it comes to focus for you? What is your number one challenge? Why is it hard?